Hi guys, welcome to 2022 and welcome back to the channel. So this is my first video in 2022 and in this video I'm going to show you the best place where you can find any fonts and icons for any of your projects for free. Okay, so with any further ado, let's get started. First open up your web browser and then go to fonts.google.com and right here you can search any font that you want if you know the name or you can browse it one by one okay and on the right side you can change the preview text then you can type something and the text will be shown on the preview you can also adjust the text font and down here you can also change the categories like if you want handwriting font only you can set it to handwriting Okay, and then you can also change the language and from properties you can change the styles, thickness, length and width and then we also got this variable fonts if you don't know about variable fonts you can use these fonts to create custom styles okay so on the right side you can see this variable signs it means that this is variable fonts and let me show you the difference from normal fonts okay so this is a normal fonts it has 12 different styles and this is a variable fonts as you can see and then if you scroll down you can see that you can still adjust some of the settings right here okay but for normal fonts you cannot adjust any of the settings anymore so right here we got styles clips about and most importantly you should read the license first okay to see if you can use these fonts for products print or commercial use okay and as you can see here you can use this font freely in your products print or commercial okay so let's download this font just click on this download family and it will download all of the styles in this form okay so this is the file let me create a new folder and move it inside the folder and then i will extract it here okay so there are a few ways to install font to your computer okay the most easiest way is to just double click on the phone and then click install just like that or you can go to font setting this one and then drag it right here to install it or you can copy one of the font then go to C drive windows fonts and pass it right here Okay, when you scroll down, you can see that there are three Roboto fonts installed on my Windows right now. Okay, so that was how to install fonts in Windows. Okay, and you can also download a specific styles only. Okay, just click on this, select this style. And if you don't see this tab, just click on this icon to open up this tab. Okay, you can add more than one style and different font as well okay and then just click download all just like that okay and you can also use this font for your website so let me show you you just need to copy this link here okay so this is just an example For this font, you cannot really see the difference I will use. Some other fonts like this one, so you can see the difference. OK, 
okay and as you can see on the preview the fonts has changed into this islands moment fonts okay and not just fonts you can also find icons that you want to use on this website just click on this icon step and then scroll down then you can see all of these different icons that you can use okay so let's try this login icon just click on it and you can download this login icon as a png file okay so i will extract it here and i will open it in affinity photo to see if the background is transparent okay so as you can see the background is transparent so you can use it right away you don't have to remove the background anymore okay and then let's move on and you can use this for your website android or ios or flutter as well just copy the code right here and then you can click on this follow the instruction link as well to see how to use it on your website go to this material icons guide then go to setup method one and copy this link you can pass it on inside body or head then copy the icon code and pass it here oh yeah and we don't need this outline and then click run and as you can see on the preview this is the login icon okay so that was how to use it for your website and then on the right side you can see this knowledge tab if you click on it you can see all the topics and articles about typography and font it's like a guide for you to choose the right font for any specific projects okay so these articles are useful you can check it out yourself okay so this is where i find fonts and icons for any of my projects and what is cool about this is all of these are free you just need to check the license first if you can use it for commercial use okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have already and i will see you guys in the next video Oh,